This is Info Live TV headline news. I'm Daniel Ben Nun. Seven members of an East Jerusalem terror cell responsible for the shooting attack which killed two policemen earlier this year have been arrested by the Shin Bet and Jerusalem police. According to the Shin Bet, cell members had planned to assassinate an Israeli policeman who serves in the old city, perpetrate a shooting attack at a French Hill bus stop, kidnap security officials in Jerusalem, target a police patrol on the Jerusalem Dead Sea Highway, and launch a shooting attack in Hebron. All the cell members are holders of Israeli identity cards, allowing them unrestricted travel in Israel. IDF forces thwarted an attempt by Palestinians to run over a group of soldiers on Wednesday near the West Bank village of Sinjil, north of Ramallah. No injuries or damage were reported in the incident. Four Palestinians traveling in three vehicles, including a bulldozer, broke through an army roadblock around 3 p.m. and attempted to plow the vehicles into the soldiers. The troops responded in accordance with military suspect apprehension protocol and fired in the air. While the Syrian state press has described her as the Mossad beauty and a Palestinian cartoonist compared her to the Mona Lisa, new Kadima leader Tsipi Livni remains largely faceless among Israel's ultra-Orthodox Jewish community. Citing concerns for feminine modesty, the Haredi community has refused to publish images of women in their newspapers, a core source of information as the reclusive community generally shuns television, internet, and most radio stations. On the eve of the Jewish New Year of 5,769, Israel's population stands at a total of 7,337,000 people. 5,542,000 or 75.5% are Jewish Israelis and 1,477,000 or 20.1% are Israeli Arabs. The figures published in a report Wednesday by the Central Bureau of Statistics also listed another 318,000 Israelis under the category of other in which some 200,000 foreign workers were counted. Sir Paul McCartney arrived in his private jet to Israel's Ben Gurion International Airport at 2 a.m. on Wednesday morning, quickly being whisked away by dozens of security personnel to his 200-square-meter royal suite at the Dan Hotel in Tel Aviv. Despite fierce threats by Muslim extremists attempting to intimidate Paul McCartney into canceling his Israel trip, the former Beatle is set to perform as scheduled at the Yarkon Park in Tel Aviv on Thursday evening in front of an audience of almost 50,000 people. Thank you for watching Info Live TV, Israel's only internet television channel that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.